All right, so it's been a year since I've uh, played with this again, but um, I want to put this back together and just do some testing, but this time do some actual testing on an actual vehicle. So um, what I did was I actually um, <clears throat> I have the Honda map sensor right here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is the actual Honda map sensor. Okay. And what I did was I, I just tapped into the vacuum instead of tapping into the wiring harness off this factory map sensor. I decided to leave that alone and just ran this vacuum line over to the car. And what I did was I just tapped it off the fuel pressure regulator right down there. And I just did it a three way here and, and tapped it off so that I can get a, a feedback to the map sensor right here. And so I could get some input into my gauge here, into the vacuum. So right now it's actually on, and being at atmospheric pressure, this is dialed out to approximately zero. Uh, right here showcasing negative, negative 0.1. So that's uh, acceptable. Um, air fuel is actually on too. Uh, I have it connected um, via the LC1 wideband right here that's laying down right here. So I got the Innovate Y band. I have it tapped into the exhaust. The exhaust, I just do it in a tailpipe. Um, and then I also have it connected serially right here to the Mac so we can see it in uh, Logworks as well. So um, Logworks shows about 20. If you on my reading shows about 21.6. The difference is because uh, the output on analog two is calibrated to read up to 22 and go all the way down to eight and so on the actual readout here it's it's uh for the logbook three it looks like they're capping at 21 point four point five it looks like point six point eight but anyways that's the difference there what we're going to do here is actually i have it tapped up and it's ready so what i'm going to do is I'm gonna start it up and then we'll take a look at this and we'll compare it. Now, it won't be exactly on the dot, but it'll be pretty close. Um, give or take one, two percent, I probably presume. But uh, let's, let's do that. Let's start up the car and let's just see if this thing works or not. Okay, so the car is up and running, um, and air fuel ratio does respond if you look at it. So it's fairly close, it's off by a little bit. And we're going to take a look to see what, um, what effects it have once we pull out the air fuel from the tailpipe. So we're going to pull this off to see what it does. Come back up here, it's running super extremely lean. Okay. Now we'll put it back in just to confirm that it's actually reading. Alright, so we're reading. The car is actually warming up, so it's slightly rich right now due to warm up. Uh, vacuum is also working as well, but I zip tied it, so I'm not going to pull this one off. Um, but it is working and I will rev a little bit just to show that it's working. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright guys, looks like it's working to me, maybe off by maybe two tenths, or I'll take it back, maybe off by 0.2, but that could be calibrated and adjusted 
to read exactly what the um, LogWorks 3 read here. So uh, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoy and hopefully we can make another one showcasing um, I2 connection instead of the standard connection I have set up here. Thanks guys.